The Queen last visited BC 20 years ago in October 2002 for her Golden Jubilee. Among Her Majesty's many stops, a Canucks game for a ceremonial puck drop. CTV's Shannon Patterson spoke with the team captain who took that much celebrated face off and others who met the monarch during her final visit to BC. It was a red carpet moment fit for a queen. Escorted by hockey royalty and flanked by young players tapping their sticks, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II walked onto the ice at what was then GM Place for a ceremonial puck drop. First of all, we, we were told we couldn't skate directly towards her, so we had to, to, to turn. There was talks about uh, them having snipers up in the stands. I, I don't know if that was true or not. And then we were not allowed to... to um, to talk to her unless she spoke to us. After dropping the puck, the Queen did speak to Canucks captain Marcus Nasland. She leaned in and said that the last hockey game she attended was in, in Toronto uh, sometime during the 50s. You know, it's not every day that it's the only time in my life I've ever seen uh, the Queen and, uh, you know, it was a big event for everybody. While head coach Mark Crawford didn't get to personally meet the monarch, I tell you, I did uh, recognize the significance of the moment. I shifted myself on the bench, usually the coaches in the center of the bench, and I got way over towards almost the other team's bench just so that I could get in the picture, and, and I wanted to have that momentum. Ivan Watson has his own mementos from the Queen's visit to the Empress Hotel in Victoria the day before. I have the official menu, so I've kept this for, for 20 years. I mean, who wouldn't keep a menu for meeting the Queen? Watson was part of the organizing committee for Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee Luncheon at the Empress. When she arrived, accompanied by the Member of Parliament for Victoria, David Anderson, he motioned her over to meet all, all of us who were volunteers, and she came over and, and said a very gracious thank you. Watson, one of many with fond memories of interacting with the Queen during that 2002 visit to BC. The Queen is the world's most enduring celebrity, and when we had the opportunity to have her here in British Columbia for the homecoming uh, during the Golden Jubilee, we saw that outpouring of affection. For my generation, she feels like the world's, she always felt like the world's grandmother, you know, someone who, who was a celebrity, you know, larger than life, of course, uh, representing a monarchy that's thousands of years old, but she had a real personal touch. British Columbians felt that personal touch 20 years ago and honor her memory today. It's an incredibly sad time for Canada, but also a time for celebration. What an unbelievable life the Queen has led. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.